How you feeling, man? You know, like a champion. I'm a champion. Did you feel like the scorecards were right? It was a split decision. It was really close. Actually, if they didn't, if they didn't score the knockdown, it would have been a majority decision draw. Yeah, um, the fight was close. You know, I felt like I, I, you know, dictated and controlled the pace. Um, I just don't agree with that. One thing, one sixteen, one eleven. You know, I don't agree with that. You know, but um, other other than that, it's this is boxing. This happens. You know, um, I feel like I did enough. I feel like I dictated the pace. He's a good fighter, I'm not taking nothing away from him, but um, this is boxing, I mean, if, if they say he won, he won, and they said I won, and I won, but I, I would have been, I would have been content with my win. What happened during the knockdown? It looked really awkward, it looked almost like a slip, but I couldn't really tell if a, if a punch landed, like what happened there? So look, I'm a man of God, I don't lie. You know, I would tell you, oh, he, he hurt me, it wasn't a hurt. He did land the shot, but before he landed the shot, I was already falling. I already, I already slipped and then he caught me, you know. Yeah, you know, you gotta call you gotta call that a knockdown, but in reality, right, I was never hurt. I never hurt I was never hurt. I legit slipped. I slipped before before um he hit me and um that will cost me the fight, you know, but um this is boxing, this is what it is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. Like I said, I'm a man of God. Uh, lying is a sin and I'm telling you how I felt and what happened in there, you know, and um I, as I felt I slipped. I mean, this is, I'm telling you, I felt I slipped. He hit me while I was going down. If that would never happen, we would have had a draw or or a win on, on my end, you know? But um, that shows that, you know, they got him as, you know, this top athlete, top guy in the WBC and whatever in boxing. It shows you I, I, get, I, I compete with these elite fighters, you know? So um, a lot of people wrote me off that I was getting knocked, thought I was gonna get knocked out, get smoked out, was gonna be, you know what I mean, outclass. Nah, I'm a fighter, man. I'm here to stay, and um, you guys will see me soon. In the first half of the fight, you looked really sharp. Yeah. Like, like really, really sharp. But it seemed like in the second half, you started to fade a little bit. At least that's what Tim Bradley was saying. Mm -hmm. He was just like, you dictated the pace. You looked excellent in the first half. You said your gas tank looked like it was fading, maybe because those are the 12 rounds. Um, what, what do you have to say about that? Did, what, did your gas tank did suffer a little bit? So, yeah, I got a little bit tired, but then I caught my second win. Around, I think it's round 10, 11. 10, 11, and 12 caught my second win. I did get tired, but I still did enough to win. Um, yeah, I looked at Sharp. I came out looking good. Um, he was scared of this power, you know, so he saw. But um, it's boxing, I mean, we, we, he started slow, I started fast, he came on, then I came back on, this is boxing. At the end of the day, uh, this is the sport. Um, and I, um, I, did, I, I feel like I did enough, you know. Um, just don't write me off. I know it's kind of hard to answer the question now, but what do you kind of want to do next? Um, obviously, you pretty much had like a draw with the, with the champion of the division. Do you feel like, all right, let me just get one more fight against like a top guy, maybe like the, the Liam Wilson versus um, Oscar Valdez fight. Let me get that winner, and then maybe I can put myself back in title contention. Like, what do you want to do? Absolutely, that or another title fight. I mean, the big, I, mean I, need, I need title fights. Uh, I competed, got a draw with a world champion. Give me Navarrete, give me Cordina, give me Lamont Roach. I mean, I, I compete with this guy, but of course, a fighter like Oscar Valdez, if he wins, or Liam Smith, they, they have names, you know, so I'll, I'll take those fighters. Um, I, need, I need names, I need, I need names. I need, you don't got a name, I need, I, I, I show the world my ability, my will, my heart, um, my punching power, my skills, so um, definitely give me, give me Oscar Valdez, give me Navarrete, give me Lamont Roach. Give me um, names. I need names, big names, and um, you guys will see me back winning and um, fixing all my errors. One thing you guys have to admit about me, I fix my errors, right? I lost, I fixed a couple things, I come back, I fix. I know my errors, I did this fight. I watch, I study, we'll come with a game plan, I'll fix it and I'll become better. I mean, you don't lose, you don't lose, you learn. And I'm, I learn from this and you guys will see me soon. What do you think you can pull away from, from this fight, actually? Is it is it hard to is it hard to be like, all right, I learned X, Y, and Z from this fight because in your book, you felt like you won. If it wasn't for the quote-unquote knockdown, it would have been a draw. Yeah. So is it is it easier to look at the, um, the Ramirez fight and be like, okay, that's what I did wrong. But with this fight, it's like, I feel like I almost did everything perfect. You yeah. know what I mean? But it still was mistakes. And I, it was a, it, even if it, it, if it was called a draw, I could have made it a win. I, there's things, there was rounds that were close that I could adjust in the thing. So, regardless if you win or you lose, you still learn. So, um, if I would have won, I still would have learned. 
and, 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 and because I, I fought that L, I still learn. So there's rounds that we're gonna see the stuff that we did wrong and fix it. Fix my defense, fix my punch selection, fix a lot of things. Right now I'm gonna just embrace everything, enjoy because I am happy and I'm very grateful with God, with everything. You know, this is the sport, you have to be happy. You can't take these L's. If you take these L's and put you down, you're not gonna grow. You have to take it in, be happy and like, let's go, let's go for the next. So I, I gotta ask, where does the happiness come from? Because I mean, I've seen fighters after fights that, you know, they'll, they'll lose and they'll be like either really upset or maybe they'll be happy, but I've never seen a fighter where it could have been a draw and they're just like, nah, I'm okay. So where the hell do you get that from? Because I need to know where you get it from, man. <laughs> I put my trust and my love and my peace and my mind all to God. God gives me peace. One thing, if I have boxing, then I have boxing, I have God, and he gives me peace. He understand? It's not my timing, and it's not my story, it's his story. So if you want a peace and you want to be happy, seek God, and you'll have it, I'm telling you. So he gives me this happiness, he gives me this peace within my life, which is nothing money could buy, fame could buy, nothing could buy that, except your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So if you want to have peace and you want to be happy, man, the man upstairs. Um, just last question, was there anything that, that Forster did in that ring that surprised you? Like, okay, he's really good at this, and was there anything where he was just like, Oh, I thought he'd be a little bit better at this, but not really. Yeah, I, I thought he would be better at his punch selection. Mm. Um, I, I thought we was expecting him to, you know, have better punch selection. But um, I think my power neutralized a lot, of, a lot of things he did, and I was expecting him to move a bit more. But he was there, you know, giving me a good fight. But he's a good fighter, man. Good footwork, good defense. Um, good, good, good. good now I won't say the power, but good. Uh, Point selection. No, I mean, no power there. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I fought fighters that could crack. I, like, I mean, I fought fighters that could crack. I got, got some good heat on them, you know. Um, but um, I mean, can't. I'm not gonna lie. The punching power is not there. But um, the, the good accuracy, good footwork. He's very athletic. Very athletic. Good uh, uh, long reach, you know. So he has his tools. But um, yeah, the power is not there. But he has a good IQ, good overall fighter, and um, I can see why he's a world champion. Gotcha. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Thank, Thank you. God bless.